Well, what's up, people? Dobbs of Wolves right here, and welcome to a top 10. You can say a top 10, or you can just say a 10 of anything, whenever you want to choose. But today, people, I want to ask you guys a simple question Do you guys like remakes or remasters? Just to tell you truthfully what's the difference between them both. A remaster is pretty much the same game that was made years ago, just got a little bit refurbished with a bit of new HD graphics and probably a bit of new music soundtrack. A remake is something that has been made from the old game but been fully made from the ground up. Hence the term Final Fantasy VII Remake, the Resident Evil 2 Remake, the Resident Evil 3 Remake. You see what I mean? If you want to know by, by a remaster, pretty much Resident Evil 1 and 0, that's a remaster because it came from the PlayStation, from the GameCube and the, and the PS2 and just got remastered fully on the PS4. Or you could say the Kingdom Hearts HD collection, it was pretty much a remaster, okay? So, what I pretty much decided to do today is that I compile 10 games in my whole entire game collection on what I want to see as a remaster or remake. And I'll have a little small explanation on what they are if you guys don't have a clue what they are. The first rule is though, I've done three, four rules for this. The first rule is I can only pick one game from one franchise. So I can't go ahead and say the same, same franchise over and over again because it'll be a bit boring. The second one is games from the retro consoles so if you guys want to know anything from the Atari 2600 or before then all the way up to the recent introduction into retro which is of course the PlayStation 3, the Xbox 360 and the Nintendo Wii, the PSP and the PSP Vita they have now been officially been announced that they are now retro okay and the fourth one they cannot be games they have already been remade, so I can't go ahead and say I want Final Resident Evil 1 to be a fully made remake because it's already a remake or a remaster. So you see what I mean? Okay. I've got the actual physical games here, games here so like I said, these have to be games that I actually own in my collection. I can't go ahead and say something I don't own. So I've got myself a collection here. I'm going to show you what they are and I'm going to give you an explanation on what they are pretty much and why do I want them remastered. Or remaked. So first off, for remake, I want Nier. Now, if you guys know what Nier is, you probably got you guys and girls might have played Nier Automate. Nier Automate is pretty much the sequel of this game because this is the originator of it all. Not a lot of people played this because it was very rare in the past, and it didn't have a lot massive following. But it did have a following enough to get themselves a proper remake. I mean, a proper sequel, way long, long, way long down the line of the years. This needs a remake, just so the people who haven't had a chance to play it, who loved Near Automate, they need to play this. For the next one, I want it to be a, once again a remake, and that is the Left 4 Dead series. Yes, I want it to be. Left 4 Dead 1 and 2 together. We already know that they've been still putting new stuff in Left 4, Left 4 Dead 2 as we speak and also we got Back for Blood coming out soon. So why not make a remaster to have these two put together on the Xbox Series X and the Xbox One? That would be a godsend if they do that. That would be amazing. And it will be even more amazing if they put it in other consoles as well. Which I doubt will happen because this is really owned by PC and Xbox. So I pretty much don't need to explain what this is because I know a lot of you guys have played this and have watched people play it themselves. For number 8 I have to go for once again another remaster and that that is Lord of Arcane. Now, Lord of Arcane is a PSP game, and it only got released only on, on the PSP. Not a lot of people played this game, but it has a bit of a following. But I think it's absolutely amazing because you slaughter in the root to, to all power. So it's like a proper hacker slasher game. Bit like Devil May Cry. A bit like Bloodborne. But holy crap, it's insanely good. And you can also do co-op on this. 
and I would really love to see them do a, re a remaster of this 100%. They don't need to go ahead and remake it from the ground up, just put it with better graphics on, new soundtrack, and stick it on the PS4 or the PS5, and hell, if they really want to, stick it on the Xbox as well. This is an absolute treasure if you guys haven't played it. Definitely try and look for it because it's a good game to play. The next one I want, once again, a remaster. So yeah, we've got a lot of remasters than remakes, but don't worry, the remakes will be coming up very, very soon. Is Yu-Gi-Oh! The Duel of the Roses. Now, if you guys have not played this game before, and you guys are love Yu-Gi-Oh! Shame on you. This thing is a treasure. Everybody loves this who played this when they were kids. Pretty much, it's not like Yu-Gi-Oh! Like you all know. It's like Yu-Gi-Oh! meets chess. Yeah chess and I just find it amazing because they put the story of the Battle of the Roses which is the Lancastrians and the um, Yorkshires uh, you know Yank, um, uh, Lancashire and Yorkshire the Duel of the Roses in the United Kingdom and it's awesome because it's pretty much Team Yugi versus Team Kaiba you can't go wrong red versus right and it's just an amazing game, and it's just a shame that it's been neglected for so many years. This thing needs a remake. I mean, a remaster. Either way, it needs a remaster, no matter what. I don't care if they change the graphics or anything. Just give me it back. I want it back in my life. It was so damn good. And I got hope, once again, if I get the Algata working, I can play this with you guys and have a bit of fun with you. Next up, I want this to be a full-on remake from the ground up. And that's Resident Evil Code Veronica X. Now, I have a massive feeling that this is going to happen 100%. Because they've done Resident Evil 2, they've done Resident Evil 3. We've been hearing rumours that they're going to remaster Resident Evil 4, which I don't want it to happen. If you guys want to know, I really want this to be remastered instead. I mean, remaked. After, done, um, after they've done uh, Resident Evil Village, which is Resident Evil 8. But... They could do a lot on this. They can actually make the story more powerful with Steve and Claire Redfield and have more of a massive impact to bring back Albert Wesker. We haven't seen Albert Wesker in so many years since Resident Evil 5 when, he, when it was his final game. But holy crap, we want him back. Bring him back. Make him into the remake. Mm, I want this to happen. So that's why that's my number six. Next up is a remaster, pretty much. I don't want anything changing on this except for giving it HD graphics and better music. And that's fan favourites, The Simpsons Hit and Run. Pretty much Simpsons version of Grand Theft Auto, okay? When we were kids, we loved this. I was never a fan of The Simpsons, okay? You can shoot me now if you want, but I was not a fan of it. But I was a massive fan of this game. I knew all the characters because I played this game too many times. But boy oh boy, it was so much fun. Kicking people as Bart, getting chased by cops. It was so freaking good and every single character was spot on. And I think it'd be about time that they can go ahead and remaster The Simpsons Hit and Run because it was just that damn good. If you guys haven't played it, try and find it as an emulator or if, or if you want it even perfect, get it on the PS2. Or if I remember, I think they got it on the GameCube and the Xbox original. Please check it out. Next up, I want this to be a full-on remake from the ground up. And that's Final Fantasy VI. This is a must. I know a lot of people are excited for Final Fantasy VII Remake Part 2. And also we've got ourselves Final Fantasy VIII Remaster. Fair enough, I'm happy they do. I'm happy. I'm very happy they remastered Final Fantasy VIII. I actually am because I'm actually enjoying it to this very day. But us Final Fantasy fans want this to happen. We all do. And I know there is some people who have controversy saying that this is not a good game. This is an amazing game. The villain is the best. It's way better than Sephiroth. So yeah, I want this to be rem remaked from the ground up just like they did with Final Fantasy VII. That's just my saying. Next up for a remaster. Nothing to change it because it was just that perfect. My favourite Persona game. Persona 3 FES. Fucking even 
sexy edition. <laughs> and it's just, I think this is the best Persona game out there. The characters are perfect, the story is heartbreaking, but it's beautiful at the same time. If you guys knew about this because you checked out my top 10 most saddest moments in video gaming, the ending is amazingly correct. I wanted it to happen like that. But also in FES, there's an extra after the ending. There's an extra, like, end game story when you play as Agis, which is sick. And if you guys have not played this, try and get it on the PS on the PS3 right now before PlayStation 3 is shut down for good because they're selling it for $7.99 in the United Kingdom. In America, I think it's $14.99. Because this game as a physical copy costs you 150 quid. It's expensive. So that's why I want it as a remaster for us lot in the PS4 era and the PS5. Number two. A remaster doesn't need to be changed. We need the pre the sequel of Red Dead Redemption 2, which is of course Red Dead Redemption 1. A lot of you guys have played Red Dead Red, De Red Dead Redemption 2 but never played the first one. Because this is actually the sequel after Red Dead Redemption 2. So if you guys played Red Dead Redemption uh, if you guys played Redemption 2 first, play this next because it follows John Marston after it because he goes after Dutch. Which is awesome. But also, to be put in fact, this needs to go with it. The Undead Nightmares. This game is fun. If you like zombies and cowboys, this is a game for you. This is why I want these two to be a full-on remake slash remaster. Don't want anything changed in it because it was perfect as it is. But if they really want to, they can go ahead and do it. I don't mind either way. I just want this to come back to our arms on the PS4, the PS5, the Xbox, 360, the Xbox One, the Xbox Series X, and of course, on the PC. We need it now. But for number one, this is personally for me. A lot of you guys may not understand this, but this is dearest to my heart because it was one of my very first games I ever played on the PlayStation, and I want it to be remastered. And there's been rumours about it being remastered too, but we haven't heard anything after that. Hogs of War. Now, if Hogs of War is actually a British game, okay? I don't think it came out in America, and I don't think it came out in Japan. This is a United Kingdom game, slash EU. Now, pretty much, it is a pig version of Worms. Yeah. Pretty much, I want this as a remake, from pretty much making it from the ground up, with better graphics, better things and everything. But also, what I want to keep is the voice actors in this game because there is an actor in this who sadly passed away a few years back called Rick Mayle. He was a British comedian slash actor in the United Kingdom who was a big star in a show called Bottom which is a slapstick comedy violent show. If you guys haven't seen any of the shows I'll put it in the link, in the, link in the description down below so you can watch some episodes. They are so funny and super entertaining. But if they go ahead and remaster this and they don't put Rick Mail in it, they'll have to put his partner in crime in it instead, which is Aid Edmondson, who played Eddie Hitler in Bottom. Okay? That's my number one. This is the one I really want. But you may be thinking, did I just say that this was actually being made? There was rumours about it being remastered, and it's a lot of videos on YouTube saying that it's being remastered or remade. But there hasn't been a word about it for the past year, so I probably think it was being made and then it got shut down. But for God's sakes, they were close to bringing it out. For once in a lifetime, people, bring this back from the dead. I want it in my collection. I want to stream it with you because it was so damn fun. So pretty much that is my 10 games I want to see as a remaster or remake. If you guys really want to see a part 2 of this, like going through another 10 games that I want to see as a remaster and remake, smash that like button. Let's try and get a good good number on it for my channel. And if you guys want to, I want to want to know from you guys as well, what games do you want to see as a remaster slash remake in the near future? Put it in the comments down below so I can have a look and I'll give you a like and maybe I'll give you a heart. Pretty much all the time, depends on what it is. <laughs> With that being said, the people I'm going to see you guys for subscribing, and I'll see you guys next time. Cheerio!